In today's video, we are going to talk about the 404 error page. So, what is 404 error page? How to apply it on your website? Why this is important from an SEO perspective? We are going to discuss this all in this video. So, let's start today's video. Hello everyone, I am Harpal Kaur and welcome you all to my channel Step to Digital Marketing. Let's start by understanding what is 404 error page. It is a response that the browser is successfully connected with the server, but the page you are looking for is not available or not found there. So in easy words, the response of a missing page is called a 404 error page. You don't find a 404 error page on every website, but you have to use this on your website so that any user trying to reach your website, even if the URL is incorrect, he will land on your website so that your audience never gets diverted to any other website. Suppose any user typed the wrong spelling of your website URL or user typed a URL that is not available right now. Maybe you delete those pages or maybe that pages exist earlier but right now not available on your website. The user will see a page not found. But if on your website a 404 error page is added, then the user will land on this page. Let's understand this with an example. Suppose there is a page on your website. Earlier it was best mixer grinder running with 750 wattage. Now if the user try to enter the old URL, then he will not be able to reach that page because this page is not available on the website right now. We have a new URL right now best mixer grinder with 750 watts. Normally user get a blank page with some text like page not found. But this is our 404 error page where our website header footer and logo everything is available except the page that you are trying to access. Now user will see that this page is not available. So instead of going back the chances are that the user will go to the menus and try to find some other information from there. This way, the main advantage of a 404 page is our audience will never divert it. I have found a website in which 404 error page is not set. Let's try to enter some URL after the domain name. It shows a page not found on a blank page. Here we have no idea how this website looks, which type of a content is there and all. Here we have a 100% chances of a diversion. User will go back and try another website. In the same way, if we see my website, whatever the URL we tried, we never get a blank page. There is a 404 error page with my website header, footer, logo and a button with text back to home. I hope now you are clear with the 404 error page and why this is important for us for SEO and a traffic perspectives. Whichever the big website you see that have a proper SEO, they must have a 404 error page. If I open Flipkart and then put a slash and write anything like a wrong spelling enter, then there is a 404 error page. From this logo, you can go to its home and start shopping there. The main motive behind 404 error page is to retain the audience. In the same way, if we try Amazon, Amazon has a 404 error page. Amazon is mostly customize its page and update it from time to time. There are a very cute dog images on a 404 page of Amazon. You can also customize this page. So the reason behind 404 is to retain the audience or a user. I recommend you to check your website for 404 error page by typing your domain and then backslash. After this, type anything that is not available on your website. If you have a 404 page for your website, then it's good. Otherwise, a blank page with the a small text page not found indicate that you need to set it and work on it. If you have a coding website, then ask your developer to set up this page. And if you have a WordPress website, then within a second you can set up this page with the help of your SEO plugin. 
to set up the 404 error page in the Rank Math SEO plugin. Go to Rank Math plugin. On its dashboard, you can see 404 monitor. Toggle this button to switch it on. It will automatically start uh, displaying 404 errors whenever it's required. You can also explore its settings. This is very easy to set a 404 error page in the rank math. After doing this, save the changes and you are done. Many times we change the permalink of any page, then the new URL will start working. But if any user have saved the old URL, then in this case we use the redirections. For redirection, I am bringing a separate video. I hope till now you have an idea about 404 error pages and why it is important. If you learn anything new from this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel Step to Digital Marketing and please hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.